G'day mate and welcome back to Factoria with me, JD. We're, we're, we're still here, we've got Burner City up and running, which we did last episode. Um, just grab as much coal as possible and make sure everything's happy and still fed and still running. And we crafted all the science packs we needed to get automation running. We also got our steam engines over here up and running, which are in the, in the, in the fog of war. And we have pollution spreading. Mm, yeah, it's in that butter base. So they're going to be happy and they're going to come visit us awfully soon, which is something I, I really don't want. Uh, in the meantime, I want to start crafting. Um, I'm going to need a bunch of inserters. That much I know. Um, when this finishes, I'm going to need some more... Um, Iron, uh, iron gear wheels. I'll also need some electronic circuits for when we actually get the assembly machine one up and running. Um, so rather than standing around twiddling my thumbs, I want to start getting some research. Well, some research. I want to start getting some items crafted. Um, I'm also going to start chopping down some more wood, either for power poles or wooden boxes. Either or doesn't really matter, um, but we will need the raw wood to, to get us started. And I managed to get most of that done before automation finished. Hurry up, go faster. Uh, we want five, ten wooden boxes. Also want to start loading stuff out onto my toolbar. So I'm going to put, no, I'm going to put inserters there. I'm going to, there we go. We got our very first automation done. I want to start getting some assembly machines up and running. Right, cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, one, two, because I want to use the items I've already hand, I've already taken the time to handcraft. Right, you can actually go up there as well, just until we've just until we're finished with all the coal, because we're still going to be using coal for quite some time. Uh, more assembly machines. Uh, actually, power poles. No, I've got plenty of power poles. Okay, so I want to take my power. I want to take it around the copper. For the moment, I'll probably want to run it through the copper later, but I'm hoping to uh, avoid making a mess of myself that I have to clean up. Uh, you can have coal. You can have coal. In fact, let's just... We've got so much coal. I'm holding a control this time, and I'm left-clicking, which is just putting a full stack of coal into every single um, every single furnace or burner miner drill and as you can see it's it's literally just filling them up okay all that stuff's finished hand crafting let's get a few more of those running because I want to start the automation process so the first thing I want is I'm gonna want gears and from my gears I'm going to want transport belt, which is right there. Um, trigger an alien attack fire pollution. Awesome. Yes, this is a brand new install, so it means all my achievements have been wiped. So I get a brand new list of achievements. I didn't craft any more packs. Make ammo. I don't know where they're coming from. This is bad. I just know that they're coming. Okay, so our transport belt for one iron plate and one gear, we actually get out two belts. So because these inserters are so slow, I've actually got two of them outputting. This guy's outputting onto the ground. This guy's picking up from the ground and putting it in there. And there he is. Die. Okay, one problem sorted. Uh, next thing I want to automate is rather than handcrafting more gears, I want to automate it so I want you to make gears please and I'm just gonna pop them into a box I'm not gonna cap the box I'm just gonna let it go because at the end of the day I'm gonna need I can cap a box so let's start with I can cap a box so I can hit this click it click on this red X and drag it up here and it means it will only get filled to whatever slots are available if I say the whole box 
and move that out of the way. You can see the inserter stopped. As soon as I uncap it, he can still keep going. I want to fill the whole box. Um, dead set. Don't want to slow it down. I'm going to use every single gear that guy can make. Uh, fill those guys up with coal. So I want this guy to do green circuits. Now, green circuits have a prerequisite of they need copper cable. So over here, just pressing Q to select something, I want to make copper cable. And drag my power poles wherever they need to go to get things powered up. Now, because green circuits need a lot of copper cable with a little bit of iron, I've tapped in some iron tapped into some iron here um, I want to get things from get the copper cable from here to here um, and we're going to do that with a bit of the belt we started handcrafting which can now oops, go into slot number one so I'm going to take my belt and I'm just going to move my copper cable from there to there put down a chest and very, very, very slowly, we can start making green circuits. In fact, it's so slow, I'm actually gonna add uh, a second assembly machine to our output copper cable. And one of the other things I can do is I can hold down shift, right click on, on this assembly machine to copy its recipe. And you can see it's, it's now highlighted in green. And if I keep holding down shift and left click, I can copy the recipe from one to the other. So we've started making copper cable as well. We've started making uh, we've started making copper cable as well, which means um, we have more green circuit production. Still not a lot. It's still going to be very very slow. But actually, the most important thing we actually need to automate right about now is I really 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 need science packs automated. Um, and I've got a couple of ways I can do this. For the moment, because I have the room, I'm going to strip. I'm going to put down a assembler right here. Tell it to make science packs. It has a prerequisite of also needing. Uh, gears, which I did automate up here, but they're really for my personal use. So I'm going to make another gear machine down here, have it make as many gears as it possibly can. And same story on a belt. Oops. Bring them around. there to get those gears bit of power and he's up and running now this has a very 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 long craft time on it um, five seconds in that time we're gonna make more than enough copper plate so I'm actually gonna slide him along one tile and then the mental gymnastics so I'm going to have you output into a chest, which won't be automated into a lab, but it, it, it's a start. Uh, I'm going to have you take that bit of copper. And you take... Worst bit of automation I've ever done, but it is automated. So we now have... Science packs automated. <clears throat> we can start getting the military research done. Um, we can actually see that this guy is being held up by the fact that this inserter is far too slow to grab all that copper cable. So I'm going to move everything along by a tile, bring the belt that way, and even though it's running into a box, it actually dead ends. It can't just automatically jump into a box. It has to be inserted with an inserter. So I'm going to put down two inserters, which will be a little bit faster, probably not fast enough, but better than what we had it. Um, put more coal in there. Okay, 
Next thing we're really going to need automated because we've already had an attack is ammo production. And again, inserter, 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 inserter. Have you and you make ammo. And I want these offset so I can have them insert into the same chest in the middle. And we want as much ammo as you can provide, please. In fact, there, there, there. We're gonna one up ourselves and double up our ammo production. Again, copy, paste, done. So we've got ammo being produced, we've got belts being produced, we've got gears being produced, we've got green circuits being produced. We've also got science being produced. As you can see, I've already got 18 science packs right there. That'll finish off military um, and get us a good way into actually getting turrets automated as well. Um, so one thing that we haven't automated is all the way over here, we need coal to run our power, which we're now using some power it's not a lot we, we still have a lot of production these guys can do 900 kilowatts each so we have potentially up to 1.8 megawatts worth of power but if you remember all the way over here we put a single box worth of coal that is slowly being burnt it's down to 136 already so my next job is i'd really like out of here somehow i'd like lots of coal being transported across the map so I'm going to grab a stack of burner inserters and I'm using burner inserters because they don't require power. They get their fuel from some sort of burnable material. As we're dealing with coal, we have plenty of burnable material and we're just going to run a belt across the map as far as it needs to go till we run out. And this will give us a belt of coal. It's coming out of our burner loop which is fine i don't expect it'll run out uh, but we'll grab our science packs whilst we're here i did craft two more labs uh, and if i line things up correctly we should be able to have you 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 all input put down a chest in the middle and put the science packs in there and I'll actually even put those in there as well and have them automatically pick up the science packs, feed them into labs automatically, and yay, more science. So whilst I'm here, let's upgrade our power. So very, very quickly, I need I know I need to get over here, but I don't know where over here is, and I obviously don't want a zigzaggy belt all over the place. I'd like a straight belt if possible. So I'm going to go to map view by pressing M. I'm going to, there we go. I told you I wanted that pop up. I want to know the second science is done. So next research we want is logistics. I want to have underground belts and I want to have splitters. Um, they'll allow us to move one belt under a belt, which trust me from the new player experience was a, a very important thing to have. Um, so I want to add that to my research. The item after I, I want after that is probably going to be not shooting speed, projectile damage. I want to do more damage for every bullet spent. Um, mm, logistics, electronics. Um, going through my list, I probably want steel processing just so I can start making steel. But actually, I want it for the steel axe research. So that gives me twice the mining speed, which really doesn't sound important, but it also affects the item, your, your pickup speed when you put something down. Okay, so it'll speed up how fast I cut down trees, if I get trees in the way, or rocks. Also vastly increase or, or, or double the speed at which I pick down, uh, pick up the, the burner mining drills we put down, the, the smelters we put down, all that sort of stuff. Um, will get picked up a lot faster. <sighs> I'm going to leave the the, the the research queue. I don't. I, there's there's lots of things more I, I might want to add. Um, like I'm obviously going to need green science eventually to start getting some more of this mixed science done. Um, stone walls, optics. There's lots of things that I, I we're going to need. But for right now, I think I'm just going to leave it with what we've got. So back to what we were, we were doing. So I've pressed M to go to map view. I've used my mouse wheel to scroll in and I'm like, I, I, I want a belt right here. So I'm holding down shift 
to place a ghost copy because obviously I, I can't reach this far. And I'm clicking and holding and I'm just going to use the, the A button to scroll across the map, which will give me a nice straight line to, to lay belts along. So I know that is the spot where I want to have my belt. I can come to here, put a belt there, and we'll give you a stack of coal to get you, keep you happy. Uh, wrong way. I don't have another burner inserter. Put down more steam engines. Put a burner inserter there, give you a stack of coal as well. And again, I'm gonna need a power pole here so these guys can access the power network as well and voila we've got more power the only thing we don't have is i haven't actually crafted any gun turrets and as you can see the biters have made it and they're they're, they're chewing on things they've actually done a lot of damage go away go away go away go away go away <sighs> okay what's important Oh, and they ate my box. Or oh, I forgot to put one down. No, I forgot to put one down. Uh, really? Okay. Oh, okay. They had to fill up the whole belts with, so they stole all the coal. Uh, we'll just fill those back up. Okay. I want an SMG. I want to be able to shoot faster. I want gun turrets, who the biters went and ate my chest full of stone. So all my stone's gone. Um, it does really push the importance of emptying your chests as often as possible every single time you walk past them. You should empty them because if a biter comes and eats them, um, bad luck, all that's gone. Uh, whoop. 38 science packs right there, get them up and running. Uh, ammo right click gives me half a stack if i control whoop control right click on it again it takes away half um 25 ammo 20 ish ammo is more than enough to get for for a single gun turn uh, 40 20 80 40 20 done uh cancel those they're taking forever so I need to replace one, two, three burner miner drills. One, two, three. Also need to replace these four. One, two, three, four. Uh, also love a repair pack or two. So I can fix some of the damage done. Uh, pick up that, pick up that. Throw them in there. I'm gonna run along the belt for the small speed increase it gives me because we also need to defend our power because if our power goes out we're going to be in a lot of trouble uh, I'm going to put one there, one there put 30 ammo in each because I come over here less often so it needs to be probably a little bit heavier defended uh, we've got all the burner miner drills we're going to handcraft every single stone furnace we can uh, put that in there. You guys have heaps of plates. You guys are actually fully stocked with plate. Uh, replace those guys. Fill them with coal. Replace these guys. That's done, that's done. Empty any spare iron we have, because not all of these machines will use the iron as fast as we can make it. Uh, okay. We want... We want to work out where they are. Because I can hear them. Done. Solved. Uh, okay. We need to empty our coal again. As you can see, they've all got 50 coal in them, so they're completely backed up. Refill all those with coal. Refill this whole line with coal. I could do the same. I could take another belt and run coal all automatically into these burner miner drills. Um, probably a good investment. Um, on the flip side, we're going to rip all this up very, very shortly. This is all the very, very early starter base. Um, it needs to go and it needs to be replaced with something a little bit more permanent. Uh, ammo. Ammo. 
how are my ammo guys going? 70 in that one. 150 in that one. Probably do with a gun turret down here and a gun turret down here. Uh, I want to take... Now I've crafted an SMG. I do want to hold on to my pistol. Just so it gives me somewhere else to carry that ammo. If I take my pistol and I put it somewhere... Um, the only way ammo goes down here is if I manually select it. I don't want to manually select ammo down there. I want it to automatically get dumped straight into that extra slot. Because that's down my slot where I will pick ammo up from to then feed to gun turrets. Uh, grab that, grab that, grab that. Grab that, grab that. Uh, we're producing science faster than what our labs can eat it. So we want more labs. Also want a radar. Um, I'm gonna put that right about there. Uh, actually, before we put that down. So if you look on the mini map, we got a blue area. The blue area is exactly what it sees automatically instantly. Okay, it's a little bit smaller area than what you see automatically. But as this little sector scanning bar progresses once it reaches the end it'll actually map one of these black squares okay it's not a permanent line of sight map it's a one-off map um, but it will reveal more and more area around us and we can find out more and more about um, how friendly our neighbors are and what the rest of the map looks like uh, we're gonna put one there one there one there you out of the way you're going to need a neighbor to go power up these guys. We're going to run a belt and have more labs doing more science. Do I have, yeah, there's more science packs for you. Go, guys. Don't slow down at all. Okay, so we've really, really, really got a, a, a thriving starter base up and running. Um, I just need to repair any damage that's already been done by the biters. Uh... Pick up those, pick up those. Yeah, you can see straight away, we've, we've revealed this square and we have a, a temporary removal of the Fog of War as it reveals that square, which of course the Fog of War will kick back in. And um, we'll have to wait for it to be scanned again to get an updated picture. Uh, you're damaged as well. Okay. So we have lots and lots of materials. In the very next episode, we're going to start spending those materials um, in a big way. Um, we can make gun turrets, as I've got a heap of gears being made by this guy. Um, he says we're just seven gears in there, it's not really a much. Uh, actually, you're meant to be just coming from that guy. Oh, dude. I had this. This guy's not getting enough iron, and this guy's not getting enough iron because they're being double fed. So, I will just put a whole stack of iron in each one of them. Um, yeah, in the next episode, we're going to start spending these resources. Um, we, we're going to need a heap of gun turrets. We've got a heap of furnaces already. We're going to want more furnaces yet again. Um, but in the next episode, yeah, we're going to start getting a proper smelter up and running. We're going to start mass producing lots of things so i'm going to end this episode here thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you're enjoying this series um click the subscribe button if you haven't already because it's going to get bad um especially our pollution our pollution is going to get very bad anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you next one all right bye